there they are. The group winners. Team Roberts, Jonathan and Liam are in to the second stage. Nothing can stop them now. This result is now irrelevant. And it is their victory lap. And they've managed to qualify with a game to spare. Yeah, who saw that coming? Brilliant stuff from them. Oh, oh and, they and now they can start to really celebrate. What a shot. <laughs> so much so, John Roberts is pulling out the party pieces. What a dig. Oh, that's, that's such a, that's a crazy shot. They're going to have some fun now. Amazing what good players can do when all the pressure is off, isn't it? Yeah, just let their arm go. Have some fun out there. Now the work's done, just plop them in. I think that's just about straight enough. Nip this. You want to finish one ball to the right-hand side is straight as we look. If not, might come down the table. Yeah, it was past the straight, so coming down. Oh, we'd love to have been on the closest one to the corner pocket. Might have to play the plant here. I think it goes. I think it slides in. It's tight, obviously, but yeah. Played it well. Be interesting to see what yeah. they do here. For me, they just float through the gap, leave the eight ball, uh, leave the red top right. Yeah. So often in that situation, you see players trying to get in, to get the red into the right centre, but he just had a natural to get on this one. Well, what a clearance. Brilliant from Jonathan and Liam. And the Wrexham boys making all the noise in the ultimate Paul Pears Cup. What a shot to kick off the frame. They were on absolutely nothing. Or so it seems. <laughs> what a night it's been for these two. As well as playing very well, they've had a lot of fun out there, haven't they? Certainly enjoy themselves. Good break, but is there an opener? Struggled with his break a little bit earlier on to get any rhythm going on it. I'll be happier. This time, might have to take the tricky one up to the top. Dwelling up the yellows, not the reds. Not sure he's got a yellow on, though. to be on the Reds. It brings Kyron Wilson to the table. It has not gone very kind for Kyron tonight, I think it's fair to say. Yeah, that's awkward. Nice well. recovery. It's only half the recovery. Can you find the line here? Natural looks very close to the red on the left-hand side, probably just underneath it. Yeah, nice, but another shot required. I think if you can pop the one to the top right now, you take it. It's very tight. Mm, can't be. Can you avoid the red here? Oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, it's a little bit unlucky. Yeah, it is. Checked it off the second cushion. Can he pull out a kick shot? Alas, no. 
But that really is quite symptomatic of Kyrie and Ian's night, really. It's just been one of those. Where it's just not really full and kind for them. At any point where you sort of need a bit of a nudge or a run, they've not really had it. It's come out a little bit tricky at times. Yeah, just the subtleties of the game, isn't it? That, that one in particular is a, you know, didn't quite get the first positional shot right there for you. You're starting to chase it. One ball's causing a problem every time, and they've, rather than getting out, they get themselves into trouble. A few times they've had counter clearances. There's been problems to solve every time. Well, good solid here. Couldn't quite get the yellow tracking towards the pocket. So Rapid Roberts will get his chance to win the frame. If the red by the eight ball to the left of it doesn't pass, oh, it does pass. So he's fine. I was going to say, you play, want to play short position on it, which he has done anyway. We should just be able to just float this in. Never got hold of the cue ball in that visit. Just kept r r landing like the wrong side of a ball and drifting one way, then the other. Shots. But Team Roberts is still very much all smiles. Oh, <laughs> a bit of a no look from Kyron Wilson. How do you like that? <laughs> well, when the pressure's off and you know there's no way through to, to victory, why not have a little bit of fun? <laughs> there's an awesome bit of queuing from Kyron Wilson. Ball off the break for Ian Hay. at the table then with a chance to put his pairing back into the lead it's a again a bit of a smelly layout one breakout shot though Break just trying to find that breakout shot make a case for the double I think it goes top right get it done early while the yellows are awkward as well beautiful Flying. lovely cue ball as well Absolutely flying. been tempted to play above the red you could have played on both 
playing for that red into the centre, you had to have the right angle to get onto the red at the middle of the table. If you play for both, you got more chance. Give yourself the option. He just has to take his medicine. Yeah, taking it along is no problem, though. A strange night tonight. It feels like we've seen some fantastic pool, and we've also, at the same, by the same token, seen some pretty mixy stuff, which has just enabled the whole night to feel like it's completely in the balance for much of it. Yeah, it has been like that, hasn't it? But then John and Liam are going to walk away fairly comfortable victors, aren't they? Qualifying with a match to spare. Still want to get the third win here just to round things off. Of course, worth pointing out. Carlin Wilson have knocked in that eight ball to beat the buzzer against Sean Story and Chris Day. This would be the deciding match for qualification. Yeah. That's that the margin. Missed eight ball, wasn't it? Yeah. Big moment in the night. Of course, it's not quite that simple. That might not have. Oh, I tell you what, a great break. work well as a duo yeah I was just enjoying listening to them and so they worked out their plans well that's worked out well for them not what they played they played the gap to get the short position on the one at the top but landed perfect now he's ta he's toying with playing into it but I think you play short position again yeah it's okay though you can still clip it back that was touchy Nudge there. He's got to be, if he's potting this bottom right, I think he's straight off, isn't he? No, I think he's, it's so thin it's not in off. I'm oh, going for the kick shot. Oh! oh. <laughs> John Roberts is swagging tonight. Some teamwork out there as well. Liam was sat there just keeping updated on the clock and what was going on. Got to play another good shot. You can make the pot, his issue is the cue ball. On earth, you land this last red from here, pushes it through. It's a great effort. He actually, they talked about it, you just heard John say you can make the two and one. If he makes the pot to the corner, they were thinking the two yellows might plant the other red into the corner, in, into the middle rather. out very crisp very good I don't know I've enjoyed that one <laughs> looks like they're not quite uh, looks like it sounds like they've got an assistant manager on the touchline <laughs> calling the calling the plays I oh, know they had it the wrong way around looks like it will be Kyra into play Is it me now? John says. Don't worry, I'm sure 
our referee, Scott Price, has got it all under, ha under control. He'll know exactly what's going on. There you go. It's the 15 second shot clock part of the match from here. 15 second so shot big clock. explosion on the pack for Kyron. He's still definitely coming a little bit low on the cue ball off the break. His best uh, power through the pack and split, though. Yep. And a great chance for a break clearance now. Yeah, lovely little opening shot. A number of different ways to go about this. This is such a nice layout for him. Surprised he's leaving the one down the table. But you can see why. Take this one, connects to the red. Now he doesn't have to worry about getting a good angle on it to get onto the red into the left centre. So I do like that. And he's played that lovely, hasn't he? Yeah, it's been a really good visit to the table. to Hay and Wilson. Uh, good to see them having some fun out there. It's not been their night tonight, but they're still enjoying themselves, which is what they came here to do. I spoke to them earlier, and they were obviously very keen to do well, and they wanted to be able to win and to qualify, but they haven't really had the opportunity to do that, you'd say. Well, apart from, you, you said it earlier, that missed eight ball oh, to win, to yeah, win the second true. match. If, if that had gone in, the dying seconds yeah, from Kyra, and then this retract that statement. Yeah, yeah they, they would correct. be. This would be a six-red shootout on the cards. Although the match would be played in a very different spirit, I'm sure. <laughs> it may be a bit more tense out there. Eight ball. Yeah, he was looking for it, wasn't he? His break has turned up in this match. Bundle of energy around the table is John Roberts. straight. So you need to power it out, just take what you've got. Yeah, take what you got. Don't try and do do much. It's pretty perfect, honestly. <laughs> Lovely shot. <laughs> Extension, he says. Rolls it in. Three each. And we'll get ourselves the decider on the Scotch doubles for the final two and a half minutes. Can Robert Squared go three from three? That was impressive. That really was. Having some fun out there, aren't they? As long as you can when the pressure's off and you're already qualified. So it's Hayden Wilson to break. into that one again. Go and make a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, they say. <laughs> I've enjoyed the spirit that this game's been played in. It, it has been really nice. <laughs> it's the sort of match that the Pairs Cup can produce. We'll end the visit to the table for Hay and Wilson. <laughs> Can Team Roberts go and win the match? Well, how have they picked that gap? <laughs> That's, to not touch another ball there is amazing. 
And a grandstand finish. One minute 38. Big pocket. Down to the bottom right. It's going to be the one on the top of the table that's going to be the problem. Here we go. Keep digging. It should be fun to watch this final minute and 20 seconds. Team Roberts getting the shovel out. Wanted to leave an angle there where he could go into the, the problem. <laughs> is the treble on? Oh, yeah, just about. He's lined it up. Oh, oh, oh there it is. <laughs> Brilliant. That'll do. And Snook it on the eight ball. So it's going to be a foul. And there's going to be 20 seconds for Hay and Wilson to have one swing at these reds. At least they didn't fancy a six red shoots out. They're basically getting one now. They wouldn't have been far away from it either, but the Kessian comes in. Great last match there to round us off. And Jonathan Roberts and Liam Roberts are through to the second stage of the Ultimate Pool Pairs Cup with a super performance, and they can be justifiably very proud of their part tonight.